Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick demonstration of how to get started with basic Java graphics because I know when I was interested in game programming, I, di I didn't really know how to start with graphics. So this is really basic, really basic way to start. Um, and I'm going to be using a, a J applet. So basically, I'm, if you just create this this Java file called basicgraphics.java. Um, well, if you d you just have to import these, and th th there's of course many ways to do it, but this just seems like the best way to do it, using only one Java file, and being easy to explain. Um, like this, m this might not be the best way, performance-wise, and other for other reasons. But anyways, so you you create your basic gra graphics.java or whatever you want to name it, and then you s you have to extend JAPLET. Now I'm r I'm using a timer object for. To keep, it's like the game loop if you're making a game, you know. So every certain, every certain amount of time, like for for this example, I'm using every 30 milliseconds, and the clock is gonna tick. And then every time the clock ticks, you update the game. So um, that that's really basic in, in video games. They have like a um, the 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 game loop is what it's called, and that's that's what this is right here. Um, anyways, so you have a timer. I'm just gonna call it T, and you create an int call it tick or whatever and that's that's how fast the game runs you can change that to 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 change how fast your game runs later on so um since this is a j applet you need this uh this right here um th these these methods so for init what i what i'm doing here is i'm just setting the size of the window in pixels this is the width is 600 pixels height is 400 pixels um then i say yeah, I'm defining this action listener. I'm just going to call it action, and you need this because um, this code that's in here. That's what happens every time this timer ticks. Because you can see right here, I create a new timer out of t that I created earlier, and I give it um, int the int tick, which is 30, and I give it this action listener. So then, then I say t dot start. So it starts this timer, and every 30 milliseconds, it's gonna run. It's gonna do this, and so then basically every 30 milliseconds, this code gets repeated um, over and over again until the program stops. And that, that's that's important. So this code is where you put, for example, maybe you had um, different update methods if you're making a game. So we'd say update update um, movement speed. And you would define that somewhere else, you know, something something like that. And you'd have all these update methods. That's where there would be. Then, at the end, um, you have this. You say repaint, and what that does is it it calls this paint method. What actually um, it actually doesn't just do that, but that, that's basically what it does. Um, and so this is um, I think it's just part of I guess part of J applet that you're overriding also. So you just say public void paint. You say graphics. You give it graphics, and just say I don't know G. And what this does is it it, it you can fill fill in rectangles or draw lines or in, the, in these comments I showed other examples of things you can do. You can draw strings, and, and just, you can draw rectangles. You can fill a rectangle. So if you said draw a rectangle or draw a border, um, you can draw an oval, fill an oval, and th there's more than this. But then, and you can also draw images from a file. So, anyways, so what this one would do, and see, um, right now there's nothing going on in the game loop, so it's just going to be infinitely repainting. So it's going to just be doing this. It's going to the first thing it does, and you have to remember it goes top down order. So you set the color to black. This is like setting your paintbrush, I guess, to to black. Then what it's going to do is it's going to fill in the rectangle zero. These are the first x and y coordinates of the top left corner of the rectangle. And zero, zero. The origin is in the top left corner, and and that's how it works. And then this is the um the coordinates of the bottom right corner, which is 600x, 400y. So it's going to fill in that rectangle with this color black. And then after that, it's going to paint a line over it. So it's going to set the color to red. And these are the coordinates of the starting point of the line and the end point of the line. So I'm just going to run this. Um, let me find it. Okay, so it, it's not going to be animated or anything, but I'm going to show you in a little bit how easy it is to animate things. So this is what it looks like. You know, nothing's moving. It just draws a line from two points. Now, 
let me demonstrate what you can use a game loop for. So I'm going to create an int up here. Let me just call it int num equals zero. Now, every time this game loop goes, it's going to increase the num by one. Now, f for this line, instead of having these numbers, so uh, instead of starting at 50 for the, I guess on the, on the left, instead of the left end of the line starting at 50 always, it's going to start at this int called num. And then that that's going to be changing every time it goes, so it's going to be animated. The line's going to start out really long, and then it's going to shrink down to the right, and then eventually it'll be off the screen. So, um, let me run that. Um, did it work? There we go. Now look. See? Now, and then I, di I didn't give it any limit, so it's just going to keep going, and eventually it'll go off the screen. And that's fine. It's not going to cause any error or anything. It will just paint off screen where we couldn't see it. So there it goes. Now it's now it's just going forever. Um. So, um. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all you need to know. So let, let me demonstrate. Instead of draw line, let me draw a string. You can see what it does. Uh, and we don't need num anymore. So let me just comment that out. So you don't you know I'm not using that. Just simplify it. Um, that's weird. Okay, see, draw string. That's what it does. Uh, um, draw a rectangle. The way it works is this is the this is the top left corner. That's coordinates, and then these numbers are actually the width and height. They're not they're not the second coordinates. They're the width and height. So this is going to be a rectangle starting near the top left of the screen. And the width will be 50 pixels, and the height will be 30 pixels. And it's going to be red still, because I haven't changed that. And that's um, draw rect. And if I was to say fill rect, then it would just fill it in instead of drawing the outline. And oval would be, I'll just do fill oval to show you. Oval is the same, same kind of idea. It draws a, an oval like inscribed inside that rectangle, and you give it the width and height again. Now I don't have an image uh, in this file, in this folder, but wherever you have your basic graphics.java, you, if you had an image called test.png, uh, and then you would just say, and I, you had to, had to import image also, and I don't think I did that. Um, I think that's Java dot awt dot image I think and then um, you have to do this is how you you load the image and it can be whatever and it'll draw it and th there's different ways to scale it up but and but this is um, basically this is basic way to do it you can give it the, the image which is created here and you give it the I think I don't even know what these numbers do, but um, you can mess with that and try to figure that out. But I know there's different ways to scale it and add transparency. You can add transparency plus a, um, maybe a background color. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do with draw image. And you just say this at the end to, um, to know that it's this instance, I think. That's kind of confusing to me. Um, anyways, I think that's about it. Hopefully you learned something. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.